Hey guys and welcome back to Metroid Fusion and we're rapidly approaching the end of the game now because this is the uh, second to last part. There's only going to be one more Metroid Fusion part after this. Anyways, we're still in Sector 1 after discovering the hidden Metroid breeding program. So now we're just trying to get back to the main deck. And of course you need the screw attack for that. So we're once again going the wrong way. But that's nothing new because that's pretty much what I've been doing for 15 parts. Anyways you go up here. Bomb the wall. Reveal the ladder. And there's a bloody space pirate waiting for you at the top of the stairs. And I'm just going to blow the ever loving daylight out of him. Oh, and then there's these enemies. They are like the hardest to kill or... Well, anyway, they take the most damage because they require two power bombs. Whoa, what the hell is that? Doesn't... Hey, stop respawning, douchebag. Just jump over me already so I can... Why did that not kill him? I mean, the other one got killed by one shot. Just jump so I can shoot you in the back. Freaking golden space pirates. Man, this area sure looks bland. Oh great, more of those things. Let's just blow them up because there has to be something here. I take it. Okay, give me all your X's. Oh, come on! Not another one of those things again. Why? Okay, at least I managed to capture all the X parasites before they re before they reformed another one of those golden things. And what's this here? A couple of those hovering things. Okay. Eh. Oh, hey, a red door, which means a boss. Yay. Okay, let's go. Hey, it's Ridley. So this is where that X parasite went that flew out of Ridley's corpse in the uh, freezer. I'm just glad that Samus doesn't go all whiny bitch when she sees Ridley this time around, unlike uh, other M. No, oh, in Metroid Fusion, it's Ridley who's doing the bitchy screaming. I mean, oh my ears! For crying out loud, who thought that was a good idea to make Ridley sound like that? But anyway, Ridley is a pretty easy boss. It's like, if you have a bunch of energy, whole lot of energy tanks, you can mainly just keep shooting at him the entire time and just not avoid anything because he's really not all that strong because he'll mainly just be flying around like an idiot and yeah occasionally he may grab you and that causes a lot of damage but if you just keep shooting him he'll let you go soon enough although I do need to start being careful now me and my big mouth Okay, I got him. Now let's hope I won't get killed by the core again, just like what happened with Nightmare. Okay, so far so good. Oh crap, crap, no. No, 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 no. Ah, yikes. No, 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 no. Not again. Oh, come on, just die already. Really? Yes. Okay, so much for Ridley. And now we have the screw attack at last. It took quite a while and we ran into dozens of places that required it, but now we finally have the screw attack. And it is awesome. I mean, I just shredded all those things. And with the space jump, it's an awesome combination. Like I remember in Metroid Zero Mission, you get the uh, screw attack way before you get the space jump, and it's really not all that useful then. So let's save up, because we beat Ridley. Which, actually, I think is like one of the easiest Ridley encounters in the entire series. Oh great, those things again. 
And the doors are locked, so we can't get out before we kill all of them. Perfect. And golden thing again. Jeez. Oh, screw attack solves that problem nicely. There we go, see? That's why the screw attack is like the best power up ever. Because you can shred stuff, and that's awesome. Okay, now we need to go back to where we were, like, at the beginning of the video. In here. Pop open that little hatch there. And then jump down here, because this was the, uh, screw attack thing. Ah, oh, space pirate. No need to worry. And... Ooh, acid. That's perfect. I don't think my suit offers protection against acid. But that's really no need to be afraid. Whoa, that was a little nice move there. I managed to shoot open the gate in between screw attacks. That was pretty awesome. Behold my leap Metroid Fusion skills. Anyways, now we're back here in Sector 1, where it all started. And what's that yellow thing? Weird. I didn't mean to fall in here. Come on, just get up already. Okay. Little froggy. Just gonna shoot him. Or, uh, no, not a frog, it's a crab. Jeez. General Secura does not know his animals. Uh, this is so very convenient. Oh yeah, here, the uh, lava room. Now we can finally go in here. Let's see what's... I mean, surely there has to be some sort of... Hey, a green door. Hmm, haven't been here before. Another one of those yellow things. What are those? Okay, so that was behind that blue door in Sector 1. Hmm, never knew. Though I do wonder what's up here. Let's go and check it out. Okay, there just has to be something behind this. Yep, screw attack blocks up there. Uh, another power bomb tank. Okay, I mean, we don't need power bombs anymore, so yeah, it's not really that convenient. Would have preferred another energy tank, maybe. Because, like, I only have, like, half of the total amount of energy tanks you can find. I have, like, what, nine or something? I think you can get, like, twenty. Anyways, let's save up and then go for the, uh, computer conversation. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, computer, what do you have? Samus, we're done here. Leave the rest of the Federation. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. What, we're not done here yet? Do, we, do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly they reproduce? The Federation wants the SAX. Endless potential applications, of course. The extra heartless abominations, what potential could they have? Well, they make great weapons. You just leave quietly. This is madness, this is Sparta! Oh, I had to do that. Capturing the SAX, of course. I really think they can succeed. I mean, if Samus doesn't even stand a chance against the SAX. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX, and that's why they stopped sending you support data. It's a conspiracy! They withheld the plasma beam, and we restored that function on our own by absorbing the giant plant. And the diffusion missile. Didn't want us to grow too powerful, but they sent it, and we tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. <coughs> Applause. Open a channel to HQ, I won't let this happen. They're already on their way, fools. As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. Wow. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. 
They're a plague and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station and myself if I have to. Uh, why is the computer not opening the doors? Open the hatch. I've been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Uh, computer surprised. Adam? Who's Adam? A friend of mine. Yeah, and what will this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important this is. Then, did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? Well, that's pretty much what he did in Metroid Other M all the time. He would understand that some need to live and die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So he chose life for you, our fair warrior Samus Aaron. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you, how could you hope to understand machine? You know that detonating this station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the ex-parasites, even though the station would be utterly destroyed. You would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin yourself. You would ignore the simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. You burn. If you were to alter a station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. What? You would not have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. The computer is stabbing them in the back. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR388. Surprised face. Then return to your ship and escape. Yay, we're blowing up the planet. Any objections, lady? Any objections, lady? That sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? If you've played Metroid Other M, you'll probably have figured out the computer secret by now. And if you haven't, you'll find out either in this part or the next one. So, let's go up to the operations deck. And... Program the station to plow into the planet and blow it up. Samus is a real planet destroyer, like, you know, first planet Z Zebes and uh, Phase in the Prime Trilogy, and now SR388. Man, Samus is really it's like destroying more planets than the freaking Death Star. And what's in here? I reckon there was, was something in here. Some kind of upgrade. Or maybe not. And, uh... Oh, this is a Sub-Zero Containment. Let's take a good look at... Our old friend, Ridley. That's actually the Ridley from Other M. Not the original. Because uh, the original Ridley died in Super Metroid. Just so you know. According to the Metroid Wiki. And there's this little green thing that we haven't done anything about. So go in here. Oh, a power bomb tank. Even though I don't need those anymore, I'm just going to waste time to get that. Uh, why can I not go down there? What the hell? Maybe a little power bomb will fix things? Okay, that's just weird. I'd like to go in here or No. Uh, no. Wait. Okay, there's another corridor in here. So that's how we get to the power bomb tank. Alrighty. So, in the next and final part of Metroid Fusion, we will go to the operations deck and program the station to ram into the planet and destroy it. So yes, that's all for now, see you in the final part the next time.